This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. So a little while back, I decided to invest in this $35 piece of equipment called the Chromecast. If you don't know already, the Chromecast is basically Google's device that you can plug straight into your TV and wirelessly cast things from your PC or from your Android or iOS devices. It's very easy to use, but so far there haven't been very many applications that have actually put it to the test, really. So today I wanted to go through some tips and tricks for things that you can do outside the norm that Google doesn't necessarily tell you about, because that's what we're here for, right? fun times. So first off, it does let you do a couple of things. If you want to watch Netflix on it, there's a plug-in so that you can play Netflix uh, movies and TV shows directly through their browser video uh, playback. And then you can also do the same thing on YouTube videos. So if I went over to youtube.com, so I'll go to, I'll go to our Hack5 video channel. And if I wanted to play any kind of video on here, I could click on our newest video. There's a new little button over here that says play on TV. That's basically going directly to the Chromecast. So I can click on that and it'll play right behind me on my Chromecast. Now, say I wanted to play something else outside of this. Well, luckily we have the Chrome browser. You can play local media actually in your Chrome browser. So you could view slideshows, for example, or what have you. Basically, whatever's on your computer, as long as you can access it in your Chrome browser, you can play it. So, for example, if I go over here to my other tab, I have this picture brought up of me and Dale singing our song together, SSH to Your Heart. Very fun song. Now, if I wanted to play this on the Chromecast, I would just put on the link right here or just open it directly by right-clicking and choosing Chrome browser. I would go up here to the Chrome browser plug-in extension link and I would choose cast this tab to Hatcast. Now this is going to automatically cast to the Chrome browser right behind me, the Chromecast. So it's very simple to use if you want to play directly any kind of like, you know, home movies that you have saved on your computer or what have you. All you have to do is put in that file link. Now say you have some videos from your friends that you want to share as well. If you have Plex installed, you can actually share these as well through your Chrome browser. Of course, if you want to play something full screen, that might be a problem going forth because if you exit out of full screen, it will also exit out of, out of full screen on your television on the Chromecast. So of course, if you don't already know this, which you probably do, Alt-Tab will make sure that to keep your Chromecast settings full screen while you're still browsing on your computer. Yay, I can still do exactly what I want. Now, also something that's very cool is screencasting. Of course, you can use screencasting through tons of different programs, but they don't all necessarily go to your television unless you have some kind of internet, you know, internet-based TV. So what I wanted to do was actually share my entire desktop so that I could show people a slideshow of videos or whatnot and not have to necessarily open it in the Chrome browser. Now this is, according to Google, experimental, but it works just fine. It's pretty flawless for me, albeit it is a little bit slow. So I'm going to stop casting this tab and then I'm going to get a nice little arrow right here in the corner. If I click on that, I can do cast entire screen. Now this is experimental, of course. Click on that and then choose hack cast. And it's going to say, do you want the Chrome extension to share your screen? Say yes. All right, now if I lower this, you should see it right behind me. Haha, ha, there we go. So now I can share anything that I have on my desktop. Super easy. Of course, a few noticeable flaws since this is still experimental. You will not see the mouse. However, you will see whenever I highlight a tab, for example. So you'll see if I'm highlighting different tabs up in the corner, different uh, desktop um, links that I have installed or whatnot. So once I'm done looking at different files or what have you, I can go down to stop sharing at the bottom of my screen and immediately stop sharing. And it should go right back to your regular Chromecast wallpaper on your television. Now, another couple of things that I did want to mention, audio will not work whenever you're using screencasting, unfortunately. So if you do want to play music or videos or anything like that, you do want to do those in the Chrome browser and actually use the Chrome extension for those specific tabs. Also, if you do want to play audio, it's going to play directly into your TV. So if you want it to play into, say you have a really, really nice sound system in your, in your living room, 
you'll want to buy something called an HDMI audio extractor. So this is basically going to pipe audio into another system other than your TV. Now the problem with this though, the Chromecast is 35 bucks, an HDMI audio extractor is about 50 bucks, so at that point you're going $85, you're kind of getting into the Roku type of territory, so at that point I would say you might want to check out one of those instead since it's, well, a little bit easier to set up, although you can hack this one, so that might be fun. Now, one last thing, Google's remote desktop app. This will remote into your local computer in Chrome. Now, I know that sounds kind of funny, but it actually does work. So say you want to play some video files in VLC. You don't necessarily want to use Chrome. Or you have iTunes installed and you want to play some music in there, or some podcasts or what have you. You can use Google's remote desktop app. And then in Chrome, you can remote into your local computer. So you're basically doing a loop. And then play all audio files in VLC or video podcasts in iTunes or whatever you want. So if you want even more options as well under the settings, this is really fun too. Now this is probably my favorite part. I can go into the settings on my Chromecast. So I'm going to go over to the extension and click on options. And I'm going to get just a few options. Not too many in here. We checked out a few of these. Say, uh, let's see. Okay, just three things. That's not really fun, is it? Yeah, I agree. I can right click and go to inspect element. Now this is going to show you just a little bit of code, but there is one special one in here. I'm going to open this and see that part that says display none? So I'm going to double click that and delete it. There's another one down here, display none. Double click that, delete that. Now, when I come back up here, go ahead and close that. Oh, I have a whole lot more options that I can go through custom mirroring settings as they call them. So I can actually change minimum bit rates and maximum bit rates. I can change the video buffer speeds, everything that I want to, all those really high techy things that you can't necessarily get into unless you really know what you're talking about. Now, disclaimer, if you do change any of these, um, they might have some consequences. So definitely be careful. But if you want to have some fun, yeah, why not? You can also use the Team Viewer app on your iPhone, and this is kind of a little extra, to cast to your local PC without having your PC in the same room. So that'll let you uh, use all sorts of different applications on your phone. Now, one last thing. We did find out that you can root your Chromecast. I believe they use a program called Flashcast. Now, this does require a couple of little extra bits, so I'm planning to do that on a future episode of Hack 5. But in the meantime, now, these were about seven or eight different ideas that I found, some different cool little tricks that you can do for your own Chromecast. But if you have some ideas, I want to know about yours as well, because I'm always looking for ways to actually get my money's worth out of this thing, even if it is just 35 bucks. What can I say? I'm frugal. Now, you can email me or comment down below about what you think and what you want to see on a future episode of Hack 5 having to do with the Chromecast. And coming up soon, we'll have a quick break. More and more people are working from the cloud, using different devices, bringing their own devices to work, working from anywhere. I mean, if you're in IT supporting all of these clients, all of these employees, it can be absolutely challenging. And this is why I highly recommend Go to Assist by Citrix. I mean, it is an easy to use cloud-based platform, so you can assist anyone, anywhere, on any device, and it's one integrated tool set, including a service desk to track and log these incidents, remote support so you can quickly resolve people's technical issues on any PC, Mac, or mobile device, and of course, monitoring to be proactive, it scans your entire IT infrastructure so you can fix those problems before your boss is calling you about the Exchange server nobody ever wants to hear that call. So with GoToAssist, you're going to be equipped to provide powerful you know, tools, you can adapt to your customers' needs, you can deliver remarkable support, not just like, oh, we got the issue fixed, but like the, whoa, that was fixed and it was easy. So if you're in IT, you absolutely need GoToAssist by Citrix. I did 10 years as a sysadmin and I wish I had learned this earlier. Uh, assist anyone, sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Just visit GoToAssist.com, click on the Try It Free button and use the promo code HACK5. Let's go to assist.com, promo code HAK5. We're back, and now it's time for the Technolus photo of the week. And this week's photo comes from Jan from Germany, who sent us a picture of his wall mounted server with the name Wally. 
and Wally is a perfect name for your wall mounted server. Thank you for sending that over and if you guys want to share your pictures you can email them to us feedback at hack5.org with the subject line technoless so that they're really easy to find. And this week in the Hack Shop, we are having a special on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Drone Airplane. You can head over to hackshop.com, no coupon code needed. All you have to do is check out and you get 50 bucks off. Now, once again, our deepest gratitude goes over to you guys for your continued support of Hack 5. Thank you so much, because seriously, we couldn't do it without you. And if you want to follow everything that we're doing, you can go over to hack5.org slash follow, find links to our Twitter, Google+, Facebook accounts, and all of those. Find out what events we're going to and everything that's going on as far as conferences and parties and all the good stuff. And of course, email us feedback at hack5.org with your ideas and suggestions for future episodes of Hack 5. I think that about wraps it up for this episode of Hack 5. So until next week, I'm Shannon Morse. I'm Darren Kitchen. And remember to trust your Technolust. <laughs> yeah, I know, I forgot the link. I was like, oh. I'm so excited to check this out. I haven't seen what Paul's done in the last several hours. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's at the bottom too. This is perfect.